Welcome back to GDT Tech Reviews. In this video we are going to do a detailed review and pick the top 5 best Android smartwatch, 2022. So let us get started and the review based on our studies and small research. If you have any personal suggestion do let us know in the comment section. If you are for the first time don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more videos. We will be also providing affiliates link to purchase from Amazon. Kindly use to for best offers and purchase from anywhere in the world. So let's get started. The Fitbit Sense is a good looking smartwatch. It has a very similar design to the Fitbit Versa line, with a square face and rounded edges that Fitbit's designers say are inspired by the lines of the human body. The case is stainless steel, giving the sense a premium look, with a small touch sensitive button on the left hand side that can be set up for quick access to your most frequently used apps. A single press will open one app, this is Alexa by default, and a double press will display four shortcuts to other apps. We found this particularly useful for accessing our favorite workouts without scrolling through the watch's menus, and for quickly starting an A to scan the color display, covered with Gorilla Glass, is bright, sharp and responsive. Swiping to the right reveals various settings, including access to sleep mode, which dims the screen and deactivates vibrations, volume, screen brightness, always on screen, and do not disturb mode. Swiping down from any screen will reveal a shade containing your notifications, which can be customized in the Fitbit app. The Fitbit Sense comes with an infinity band strap, which is made from soft silicone with no hard buckles or catches. It's very similar to the band on the recently released Polar Unite, and has the same issue of being ever so slightly tricky to fasten as you have to feed the end of the band underneath the strap to secure it. The Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 is a slimline smartwatch with a design that sits comfortably on your wrist. If you're looking for something a touch chunkier, or you'd like a rotating bezel, you should opt for the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. For those looking for a slimmer design, the Galaxy Watch 4 offers that, with two buttons on the right-hand edge and little else to detract from its sleek looks. It comes in two models, one with a 40mm watch face and another with a 44mm body. Both models are made of aluminum. The dimensions of the 40mm model are 40.4 by 39.3 by 9.8mm with a weight of 25.9 grams, while the 44mm is 44.4 by 43.3 by 9.8mm and weighs 30.3 grams. The screens on both Galaxy Watch 4 models look bright, and we found them easy to read. The resolution is also impressive, with the 40mm watch featuring a 396 by 396 resolution and the 44mm model taking that up to 450 by 450 That's 330 pixels per inch for both models. One unique feature of the Galaxy Watch 4 compared to other smartwatches is its virtual rotating bezel feature. There's no physical rotating bezel here, go for the Watch 4 Classic if that's a feature you want but you can run your finger around the black bezel of the screen to rotate through menus and access different features. Each model is also IP68 water and dust resistant, which means you can take them into water up to 5 meters deep. A word about the supplied watch band though, it's made of a new material that may not handle intense workouts well, as we found it left something of a rash on our wrist. You may want to invest in a band made from different material if you regularly wear your watch to the gym. Color options vary between models, too. The 40mm Watch 4 comes in black, gold and silver, while the 44mm model comes in black, green and silver. The Fossil Gen 6's design doesn't change much on its predecessors, it's still a black cased round smartwatch with varying watch bands, like the default black flexible plastic watch bands, and a crown on the right side flanked by pusher buttons on either side. The new wearable has gotten a few tweaks to set it apart from the Gen 5, so it's not exactly the same, but you'd have to get close to tell the difference. The most obvious change is the small ridge on the edge of the bezel, which is certainly more visually interesting than the clean edges of the Fossil Gen 5, and before you ask, no, it doesn't rotate like the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 Classic, so it's more of an aesthetic touch you may or may not appreciate. Given how few smartwatches have physical dials, the lack of one on the Gen 6 isn't exactly a flaw, but it's a bit disappointing that the bezel design looks like it would rotate. The crown appears slightly flatter and wider, 
but there are now two guard lugs rising to flank it, which hopefully means the crown will catch less on pockets or sleeves. You can still click into the crown to get to your app list. Twisting the crown gives just enough resistance that it won't rotate accidentally, and browsing through apps and menus is actually pretty pleasant. The pusher buttons on either side of the crown have wider ends, which means more surface area and, presumably, an easier time pushing than the same buttons on the Gen 5. It all gives the watch a bit more of an industrial look, which we like, though we didn't find ourselves using the pusher buttons much at all, they serve as customizable shortcuts for apps. The Fossil Gen 6 isn't a fitness smartwatch, but you can certainly take it on runs and workouts. The first-party health software is pretty limited, the cardiogram app periodically measures and charts heart rate, The Garmin VivoActive 4 looks fairly similar to the VivoActive 3 and 4 under 645. A band of silver, but not chrome bright, metal sits around the edge of the watch. Its screen is protected by Gorilla Glass 3 tech, but it's not recessed like the Phoenix 6's, making it slightly more vulnerable. Every bit of such protection adds to a watch's dimensions, though. The VivoActive 4 is larger, and it's significantly so. But just buy a Vivo Active 4S if a slim watch is what you want as it has similar features with a slightly smaller screen and battery. This is a comfortable watch to wear, but again the 4 Runner 645 wins out slightly here. The Vivo Active 4's standard silicone band is thicker and has less give than the 4 Runners. The lighter and smaller a watch is, the less likely you are to notice it is even there on your wrist after a few hours. We find we tend to take the Vivo Active 4 off for a few hours each day. You only end up with angry looking indentations on your wrist if you do the strap up extra tight. There's no need to take it off, apart from to charge, if you are happy to wear it all day. The Vivo Active 4 has 5 ATM water resistance, sufficient not just for showering but swimming too. The Garmin Vivo Active 4 has a 1.3 inch screen of 260 by 260 pixel resolution, the same specs as the Phoenix 6. This display won't look too impressive to those who haven't owned a Garmin or similar watch before. These are transflective screens, meaning they reflect light so they become clearer on a bright day. This is the polar opposite of the LCD and OLED screens used in a lot of other smartwatches. They have to increase brightness to compete with sunlight, rather than being powered by it. The Garmin Vivo Active 4 also emits light, so you can see the display in a dark room. But this light only comes on when you interact with the watch or give it a wrist flick towards your face. This screen uses very little power when non-lit, and displays content 24-7, until the battery dies. This is still the best kind of screen for outdoor run training. At first glance the Versa 3 looks identical to its predecessors, but a closer look reveals a few design tweaks that make the new device a bit sleeker. In fact, a change in the color of the aluminum chassis makes the Versa 3 look rather elegant. The soft gold case is neutral, but a black option keeps the Versa 3's universal charm. The change in chassis color isn't the biggest design change though, it's the size of the screen. The display is now a larger 40mm AMOLED panel as compared to the 39mm on the Versa 2, with a higher resolution of 336 by 336 pixels, the Versa 2 is 300 by 300. It's a bright, crisp and very clear display that looks absolutely stunning even at its dim setting at pretty much any viewing angle. The bezels, though, still remain quite thick, similar to the Versa 2 dot as a smartwatch, the Versa 3 functions exactly the same as its predecessor. It's still a paired back, no frills experience as compared to something like an Apple Watch, but there should still be enough apps to keep many users happy. For example, a Philips Hue app is available to control smart lights, and there's a map app as well. That said, some apps are geo-specific to the US, UK or other regions, so the range of apps available to you will vary depending on your location. Fitbit Pay, though, should be a convenient option for most countries, with many banks around the world now supporting the cashless payment method. It's worth reiterating that many of the better Fitbit apps are paid just as they are on Apple Watch or Android Wear OS devices, so you'll need to pony up if you want some of the expanded functionality they provide. Fitbit has a decent range of clock faces to choose from, so it should be easy to find something you like. Although strangely, 
switching to a new face takes a while to apply.